And, you know, speaking about cool stuff, I also yeah. wanted to ask you about this. I think that it's awesome whenever, you know, rock stars use their influence and earnings for good things. And I saw where you donated $76,000 for cancer research. And, man, I just thought that that was such a beautiful thing to do. And I was wanting to ask you about that. Why is that such an important cause? What made you uh, do that? Well, um, our son, my wife and I, we, our boy, Tom, he had testicular cancer. And um, when it hit him, thank goodness we have a good, he, he's not afraid to come to us with any kind of problems or talk to us about anything. So we have good communications. I'm afraid that it, this is very common with young men, this cancer, and, and I'm afraid a lot of them don't talk to their parents uh, Mm-hmm. openly when it comes and so but we were lucky with Tommy and he we got him he said something hurt and we got him a, 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 an appointment and he went to the doctor and sure enough they confirmed the fact that it, it was cancer so that was on a Tuesday and on Thursday he had surgery and they removed one of his testicles and then and then he ended up going to the Moffitt Cancer Center in uh, down by Tampa and which is a great place and that's where we did some fundraising through, uh, with some of our friends who make a wish and all this, we donated, we got some guitars and we auditioned or auctioned off some, uh, tickets to shows and things like that. Anyway, we raised a ton of money and we gave that money to, uh, the Moffitt Cancer Center, mostly to our Dr. Spies, who is Tommy's doctor. So he could do more research and, uh, but yeah, it was the right thing to do. And, uh, Tommy's uh, he's to- totally okay now. So that's such a blessing, you know. We made it through that one. I'm happy that it worked out for your kid that way, man. That really is a blessing right there. And like you said, not a lot of young dudes like to talk about that. And I think that that's why a lot of folks just don't think about it. It doesn't cross their radar. And it's a conversation that needs to be had because there's many guys out there going through this on a daily basis. What are some ways that people can learn more and also help with this cause as well? Well, if they would like to check it out, they can go. There is a website called uh, Moffitt. It's the Moffitt Cancer Center. Uh, I believe you just put www.moffitt.com. And it's two F's, M-O-F-F-I-T. And uh, you'll, you can learn all about it. Plus, this is going to sound strange, but I'm going to tell you about it anyway. During this whole thing, our Tommy got cancer. But before that, about a couple months before that, his stepmom, who was only 35, got cancer. Um, I forget what time she had, but she passed away from that. And so when Tommy, we found out he had it too, I went, on, I went online and I was looking for an alternative to helping him get through this. And I discovered there's a, a gentleman by the name of Rick Simpson. Uh, he's a Canadian guy. And he, he found ways to make <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but you use THC, you use high grade cannabis with high grade with lots of THC, and you make this stuff called RSO. You make oil. I made this stuff myself for Tommy, and it is amazing. It's a powerful medicine, I'll tell you that. But it helps kids, and it helps anybody with cancer. I swear, it it, it helps them heal. It makes them helps them get over it. And the chemo isn't as hard on them. And uh, so, if anybody needs to learn more about that, they can find that online too. If you have a loved one with cancer, this is a miracle drug, really. It helps a lot. Yeah, I've heard that from so many people. And hopefully, uh, you know, as we progress in the future and uh, more people start looking at stuff like that, we can find some uh, more healthy, natural alternatives to, uh, you know, terrible diseases. 